Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're converting percents to decimals and fractions. Let's go. Converting percents to decimals, I'm going to just take my percent and I'm going to jump two times to the front because that's where the decimal goes and that's where it goes. Simple as that. Doesn't matter if there's three numbers, four numbers, two numbers, one number, you're always jumping two times to the front to the left. But let's say I have 47% and I want to convert that to a decimal. I start with a percent symbol is, I'm going to jump one, jump two, that's where my decimal goes, so this will be 0.47. Easy peasy, let's do another one. Let's say I have 144% that I want to convert to a decimal. I start with a percent, I jump once, I jump twice, that's where my decimal goes, so I have 1.44. What if you have a number that is smaller? Let me show you. Say I have 0.82%, well, it already gives me a decimal, so that's where I start. And I'm gonna jump two times to the front, which is to the left. One, two, and that's where my decimal goes. These are blank, so I'll need to add zeros there. So my final number will be 0 0.0082. That's my decimal. Let's go to fractions. Okay, so when I'm going from percent to fraction, I'm gonna take my percent, and I'm going to make that my numerator. And that's always going to go over 100 since it is a percent. Now, the only thing where this can get a little tricky is if the numerator has a decimal in it, in which case you have to move the decimal over and which will add a zero. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and start off simple. So I have 92% that I want to convert into a fraction. I'm gonna go ahead and take that 92 and make that my numerator. And I'm going to put it over 100. All percents are 100. That's it, 92 over 100. Let's do another one. Let's say I have 144%. That's going to be my numerator, 144. Again, it's a percent, so it's going to be over 100. That's your fraction. Now let's do one with a decimal in it. So if I have 53.7%, I'm going to make that my numerator, 53.7, and it's going to go over 100 because it's a percent. However, there is a decimal in that numerator that I need to move. So I just need to jump it one time to get it out of the way. So I'm going to add one zero at the bottom. So my final will be 537 over 1000. Now, if I had to jump it two times to get out of the way, I would add two zeros at the bottom. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, so if I have 29.4% that I want to convert to a fraction, I'm going to keep this as my numerator, 29.4%. I'm going to put it over 100. Now, there's that sneaky little decimal that I need to get out of the way. I'm going to move it over, and that means I need to add a zero because I only moved it one time, I only add one zero. So, my final will be 294 over 1,000. Alrighty, there's a quick review on how to convert percents to decimals and fractions. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.